Welcome to the Pinnacle Studio Guided Tour. Step 1. Capturing Video Making movies with Studio is an easy three-step process. Capture, Edit, and Make Movie. The three buttons at the top of the screen correspond to these three steps. To start each step, just click the button for that step. The first step of editing is to capture your video. You can capture video from a variety of sources. The screen you see now shows the controls for capturing from a DV camcorder using a FireWire, also known as 1394, port. If you are using other capture hardware, a TV card or a USB camera, for example, click here. DV Capture When using a DV camcorder, you can control the camcorder using the play, stop, fast forward, and rewind buttons on the camcorder icon you see here. To begin capturing video, click the Start Capture button. The camcorder will start to play automatically. When Studio captures video from a tape, it automatically detects the beginning and end of each scene. Studio then creates a picture icon of the captured scene and adds it to the Video Scenes album. These scene icons make it simple to choose your favorite parts of a video and put them in the order you want. When you have captured the video you want to use in your movie, click Stop. Step 2. Edit your movie. Selecting and Arranging Scenes In this section, we'll learn how to select and arrange the scenes in our movie using the Video Scenes album, the Playback window, and the Movie window. To view any scene in the album, you can click its icon and that scene will play in the Player window. A moving bar indicates the playback progress. Clicking on the Play Pause button in the Preview window stops a scene from playing. Now let's start making a movie. Add scenes to your movie by simply clicking and dragging them from the Video Scenes album and dropping them into the movie window. You can add any scenes you choose, in any order you choose. You can also drag and drop scenes in between other scenes. You will see a Placement Indicator highlight as you drag the new scene between the other scenes. When you drop the clip, it snaps into place, and the other clips move over to make room for it. We can easily change the order of scenes in our movie. Just click and drag the scene to where you want it. The placement indicator makes it easy to see where the clip will go when you release it. That's it. We've now made a rough cut that includes the scenes we want in the order we want. You can view your movie at any time by clicking on the first scene and then clicking Now that we've chosen our scenes and arranged them in the order we want, let's move on. Adding Transitions Welcome to the Pinnacle Studio Guided Tour. Step 1. Capturing Video Making movies with Studio Step 2. Edit your movie Selecting and arranging Adding transitions Using the Timeline Now it's time to learn how to use the Timeline View to edit. While the Storyboard View is handy for quickly laying out our movie, to make finer adjustments we will use the Timeline View. To display the Timeline View, we just click the Timeline View button in the Movie Window menu bar. Each picture icon is now shown in a box that represents the length of the clip. Next, 
we will adjust the scale of the timeline to make it easier to work with the clips. When we hold the mouse pointer over the time scale ruler, it changes to a clock. Now we can just click and drag in the time scale to enlarge our view of the clips. This doesn't change the length of the clips, just our view of them. Adding scenes to our movie in the timeline view is the same as in the storyboard view. We simply click and drag a scene from the video scenes album and drop it where we want. Transitions can be added the same way. Now you've learned the basics of using the timeline view, let's move on and have some fun with it. Trimming Clips and Transitions Now we'll learn how to use the Timeline view to trim clips. Sometimes you will want to shorten a clip. This is easy to do in Studio. Let's start by selecting a clip on the Timeline. We'll move our pointer toward the right edge of the highlighted clip until it changes into a left arrow. Now we just click and drag the arrow to the left and you can see the clip getting shorter. The playback window will change to show you the new end of the clip. Let's take a look at our change. Notice that the clip of description is shorter now. Transitions can be lengthened and shortened the same way. We can go back and click play after an adjustment to see our changes. That covers the basics of editing video scenes and transitions with Studio. Now let's see how easy it is to add professional titles. Adding Titles Studio makes it easy to add cool titles to your movies. In this step, we'll show you how to overlay professional-style titles on top of your video scenes. First, we will double-click on the Title Overlay track at the point in the timeline where we want the title to appear, below the first clip. The Title Deco window appears. In the main window is the video frame our title will begin in, and some guides to help us position it. To get started, we click inside the guides to place the text cursor where we would like the title. Then we type in our title, and the text appears on the top of the video frame. Now that we can see our title, we realize it looks rather plain and it is too small. Let's fix it. To get started, we must click and drag across the text to select it. Now we can pick a more exciting title style by going to the View menu and selecting Preset Styles. This opens a scrolling window of different title styles, and we just click on the one we like. That looks much better. But our title is still a little too small. To enlarge it, just click and drag one of the handles. Let's now center the text on the screen. To do this, we click on the Justify button, and an alignment grid pops out. Now, simply select the center button, and the title moves to just where we want it. Let's make our title roll up the screen like the credits in a movie. Just select Roll from the menu. When we've completed our new title, we click the green Check button. Our new title now appears as a clip on the timeline. Now our title is ready for prime time. When we click play, you can see how it rolls. Now that you've seen how easy it is to create professional titles, let's move on. Adding sound. Now that we've completed the visual part of our movie, let's enhance our audio with sounds and music. First, we'll learn how to add sounds to spice up our movie. To get started, we click on the Sounds tab in the album. The album is currently filled with vehicle sound effects. To preview any of them, just double-click the name in the album. To add car horn sound effect to our movie, we just click and drag it to the sound effect track in the movie window. We'll place the sound effect at the time in the movie that we want it to occur. When we play this scene, you can now hear the horn honk as description. Welcome to the Pinnacle Studio. Step 1. Capturing video. Making movies with Studio. Step 2. Edit your movie. Selecting and arranging. Adding transitions. Using the timeline. Now it's time to learn. 
trimming clips and transitions. Adding titles. Studio makes adding sound. Now that creating background music. Creating great background music is simple with Studio. Using Studio's integrated smart sounds technology, you can choose from different musical styles to make a music clip of the exact length you want. To get started, we'll highlight the entire movie by clicking and dragging across it. Next, we'll open the toolbox and click on the button that shows a musical note. You can now see Studio's background music tool. You will notice that the length of the music is already filled in for us because we highlighted the movie before opening the toolbox. Now we simply select the style of music, the song, and the version of it that we want. When we click Add to Movie, Smart Sound will create a musical soundtrack perfectly matched to the duration of our movie and add it to the music track of the timeline. Now, we'll close the toolbox and play part of our movie to hear how it sounds. That completes our editing. Now it's time to have Studio make the final movie. Let's move on. Step 3. Making the movie. Our movie is now complete and we are ready to output it. Select the Make Movie button located at the top of the screen and the album is replaced with the Make Movie window. The screen you see now shows the controls for output to a DV camcorder using a FireWire, also known as a 1394, port. Depending on the video capture hardware you are using, the controls and options you see on the camera screen may be different. The tabs on the left let us choose the type of movie we wish to create. You can make a videotape of your movie. You can share your movie on the Internet or on the StudioOnline.com video sharing website. You can make a digital movie for PC playback, CD-ROM, or email in MPEG or AVI formats. Or you can create streaming movies to add to your own website. In all cases, the process is similar. Just click the Create button and Studio will begin making your finished movie. In the playback window, you can see the bars indicating the progress of adding each clip to your movie. OK, let's skip ahead and see the final movie. Welcome to the Pinnacle Step 1. Capturing video. Step 2. Edit your movie. Selecting and adding transitions. Using the timeline. Now it's time to trimming clips and transitions. Now we'll learn adding titles. Studio adding sound. Now that we've creating background music. Creating great background. Step 3. Making the movie. Wow. 